after a big day in the NBA, the Hawks and the Celtics. Hawks big boost in the fourth quarter from their star backcourt. DeJounte Murray, corner three with 140 to play. That made it a six-point game. And then how about this from Trey Young? Getting Derek White on his hip. Floater. That makes it 126-121. They won. The Hawks did 130-122. Big day at Madison Square Garden and the Knicks owned it. Game three, R.J. Barrett had 19 points and eight boards. Jalen Brunson, 21 points. He was 10 of 18 from the floor and six assists. The Knicks win this one easy. 99-79. They take a 2-1 series lead. Of course, mandatory Spike Lee. And how about the game you just saw? Nikola Jokic addition and scoring in game three against the Timberwolves. He finished with 20 points, 12 assists, and 11 rebounds. So, yes, another triple-double. Jamal Murray, he had 18 and 9 assists. Michael Porter Jr., 25 and 9 rebounds. The Nuggets have looked so good. They have a commanding 3-0 lead over the Timberwolves. They win this one 120-111. For more perspective on everything we saw in the league today, we bring in the honey bear himself, Kendrick Perkins. <laughs> Man, we are so mad about that visual you gave us, but I do want to know what you thought about what happened in Madison Square Garden tonight because the Knicks, I mean, they're making a statement here against the Cavs, and it seems to start and end with Jalen Brunson. What stood out to you? Well, well, Eves, don't you love it, man? Old school physical basketball. That's what the Knicks do. When you hold a team to 79 points, uh, 39% from the field, 21% from three, that's what you love to see. That's Tom Thibodeau basketball. And that's what the Knicks provide. Contesting every shot, getting out in transition, dominating the paint, playing physical, going through their chest. When, when you heard Tom Thibodeau after game two talk about we got to be better, he meant that. I've been in those locker rooms with him. And when you have guys like Josh Hart and Jalen Brunson playing with that type of force and tenacity on both ends of the floor, it is something to be proud about. The Knicks has, has brought back not only basketball to the, to the Big Apple, but they also brought back old school physicality. Now you see how Donovan Mitchell and his squad will respond in game four. Let's go to Atlanta mm -hmm. now because the Celtics had won the first two games of that series by at least 13 points each. Mm -hmm. In the first quarter, they were up big, and all of a sudden, Atlanta made a run there at the end, and then they ran away with the rest of the game. What was it about the Hawks being able to get their first win in this series? Well, I'll tell you what. Quinn Snyder coached his behind off in the first half. Um, the, the starters of the Hawks, they didn't have it. All of a sudden, he went to his bench, and I saw guys like Bogdanovich come in and spark this club. You know, uh, you, you saw Sadiq Bey, he came in and did what he was supposed to do. And then all of a sudden, um, you know, Javante and Trey Young took him home in the fourth quarter, but this kind of reminds me of the 2008 Celtics and Hawks series. I remember in 2008, a particular Celtic team blew out the Hawks at home game one and two, and when they went to Club ATL, they couldn't get a win. 130 points in regulation is unacceptable for that ball club, especially the athleticism that the Celtics have at that guard and wing position. Hey, it's hard to win in the A, especially in the playoffs, for a yeah. myriad of reasons. Uh, but let's round out the <laughs> night, Big Perk. Uh, Nuggets, I mean, Nicole said it earlier. If there's one team that looks like a one seed right now, it is the Nuggets. They're up 3 nothing on Minnesota. They look great. They yeah. look great and, and just flying under the radar. And we know what Jokic is going to bring to the table. We know he's going to get those triple doubles. We also know what Murray is going to do. But it's the others for me. It's the addition of Bruce Brown coming in off the bench and being the spark. Caldwell Pope bringing that championship pedigree to the squad. Aaron Gordon being a perfect fit, being a guy that could not only post up but cut off the ball and be an asset for his for us cutting Ben playing off of Jokic and Jeff Green, old man Jeff Green is still providing and giving great minutes. When I look at this team, they're deep, they're, they, they're focused, and they're well coached. And defensively, I have to give them their card. They have been locked in on the defensive end. Hey, Perk, lastly, I got to ask you, my sister back at Kentucky the other day asked me why you favor Barry White so much. So know. instead of me answering that question, I'll let you answer it. Why do you favor Barry White so much? Uh, well, 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 I'm going to take it as a compliment, Ease, <laughs> but a, some, other, some other people say that I look like a 380-pound version of Morris Chestnut, though.
<laughs> no one says that but you. No one says that but you, Perk. I, I would like to see you in that perm, though, for Halloween as Barry White. We'll see that. Hey, man, we'll talk to you soon, man. Appreciate you, my brother. Forrest Chestnut. Stop. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.